It's Parsha time! Hey guys, it's Ari Sarap from Parsha Time, and this week's Parsha is Parsha's bow. One of the things that happens in this week's Parsha is the plague of darkness. Rashi explains that the plague of darkness was like a very dense fog that the Egyptians didn't even, they, yes, they couldn't see, but also they got lost track of the days. They didn't know what day it was. It also explains in the, in the commentaries, right, that each plague would last about seven days, right? But when you're reading the Torah, it says that the, the darkness was only three days. Rashi also explains that it split up, that the, the plague of darkness was while we were in Egypt, right? But also, when Shem split the, when Moshe split the sea, Shem also spread the plague of darkness to that exact moment as well, right? So that the Egyptians wouldn't be able to attack the Jews. It's a really, really interesting thing. Darkness. You know, darkness is a scary thing, if you really think about it. Once, I heard a rabbi recently, uh, Rabbi Kaplan, was explaining that, can you imagine being by yourself? Like being buried like with someone just like you, you know? Or being buried with you, you know? Having to, <laughs> for the rest of eternity, just be set just be with someone like yourself you know it makes you think if a person is such a horrible person like a like me don't rise their characteristics are just you can't be around them for more than 10 seconds you know and then you have to live with yourself for the rest of life you know which you kind of do you know <laughs> so it's important to have to work on yourself to be the best you you can be because if you can't handle yourself if you can't stand to be around just yourself to be around you you know, that's a shame. You know, you should enjoy your own company. You should enjoy you. You should enjoy being you. So the plague of darkness, it really makes us think the darkness, darkness. How about light? So in the plague of darkness, when the, the fog was so dense, they couldn't see. And the, it was, the darkness, they couldn't move, right? But the children of Israel, they could move, right? And the Egyptians could hear them. So the Jews would come into their homes and they would see where all the their valuables are, you know? But they didn't take anything. How, like, can you imagine? You see, you know, you see the cream jewels, right? You see, you see the, the valuables, you know, of these Egyptians, right? People who have been torturing you and using you for slavery and you see their their most valuable possessions and you decide not to take it wow rashi also explains right that the egyptians were like whoa <laughs> as a middle what middle these jews have wow and they had respect for them you know so look even in the darkness right the jews were spreading the light but you know what, at the same time, the plague of darkness was for the Egyptians, not for the Jews. Um, so yeah, you know, it's very, very interesting. Very interesting indeed, you know? And we can also, I'm um, just thinking about this right now, they say in the plague of darkness that only the children of Israel, you know, could see that there is light. And I think that's also that we learned that a Jew's responsibility is to be a light in the darkest of places. Right, I hope everyone has an amazing week. Hope you enjoyed this week's video of Parsha Time, explaining Parsha's bow and the plague of darkness. And until next time, I am and will always will be Ari Sarap, and this is Parsha Time. Shalom.